Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson entitled What is an electrolyzer and how does it work? My name is Hunor and I'm a hydrogen engineer and this is lesson two of a series of lessons on hydrogen and the next lessons are going to be about PEM cells and PEM stacks and I'll also be talking about hydrogen safety in one of the next lessons. So let's jump into it. Well, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to, number one, describe what is an electrolyzer. Number two, you'll be able to name two different electrolysis technologies. Number three, you'll be able to name three advantages of PEM over other electrolysis technologies. Number four, you'll be able to describe the balance of plant system around PEM electrolysis. Fabulous. So what is an electrolyzer? Well, an electrolyzer is a device that takes water and it takes electrical power and it uses the electrical power to split the water into its constituents, which are hydrogen and oxygen. So let's look at the most popular electrolyzer system types out there. So we can talk about alkaline electrolysis and we can also talk about PEM electrolysis which are the most common types of electrolysis methods out there today. So when we talk about alkaline electrolysis it has actually been invented over 200 years ago which makes it a very mature technology today. And we can also talk about PEM electrolysis which has been invented in the 1960s during the space race. And it is also a relatively mature technology. And PEM electrolysis has a number of distinct advantages over alkaline electrolysis, which we'll talk about in just a second. PEM stands for proton exchange membrane, it utilizes a membrane between the anode side and the cathode side of the cell and what happens is the water flows into the anode side of the cell and when the electrical power is applied the water is split into hydrogen and oxygen and the hydrogen atom consists of one proton and one electron well the electron splits of the proton uh, via electrolysis and the electron goes through the electrical connections and it goes over to the other side of the membrane. And the proton, so because we have the proton exchange membrane, the proton exchange membrane, the PEM membrane, will allow the proton to go through from one side of the membrane to the other side of the membrane. And the proton and the electron on the other side of the membrane, on the cathode side, will meet up and will form a hydrogen atom. And two hydrogen atoms, as we know, is an H2 molecule. So what are those distinct advantages of PEM? Well, PEM is considered to be a very advanced technology, and the advantages are uh, that you're able to run a PEM electrolyzer on high current density. What that essentially means is that you can have a smaller electrolyzer on a smaller footprint and you're able to run that electrolyzer at a high current density, which means that you'll have a lot of hydrogen coming out of a small electrolyzer system. The next advantage we can talk about is high voltage efficiency, which means that you're having to put less electrical power into the electrolyzer to get essentially the same amount of hydrogen out of it. So it's more efficient. We can talk about the capability to hold pressure, which means that uh, when you're generating the hydrogen, you can generate the hydrogen at pressure. So you can integrate it with so many different things and it's more useful, more clients will want it. Essentially what it means is you can generate the hydrogen at 5 bars, 10 bars, you know, 20, 30, 50 bars if you have to. And in fact, it has been demonstrated that we can use PEM electrolysis to generate hydrogen at up to 350 bars. That's a very high pressure. The other advantage we can talk about is turndown ratio, which means that 
Number one, you can turn on and off the electrolyzer in a very short amount of time. And you can also manipulate the output of the electrolyzer very, very quickly. I.e. you can go from uh, a low, let's say, 50% output to 100% output very quickly. Um, we can also talk about the uh, highly pure hydrogen. So PEM electrolysis, most PEM electrolysis systems are designed uh, in a way that um, they have a hydrogen purifier on them, most of them, and uh, they will uh, give you very, very pure hydrogen that you can even use in fuel cells, believe it or not. Don't let this diagram confuse you, though. It can look quite daunting uh, when you look at it for the first time. However, I will be dedicating my next video entirely to explaining how the PEM cell works and how a PEM stack will work as well. Okay, so let me explain the balance of plant around the PEM electrolyzer. If you'd like some more information on the balance of plant of a PEM electrolyzer, there's a great book called PEM Water Electrolysis. I'm holding volume two in my hands, and the author is Dmitry Bezarabov and uh, Pierre Millet. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing their names right, but this is a fantastic book on PEM water electrolysis, and it talks about the balance of plant, it talks about the uh, electrolyzer stack. So the jargon that I'm going to be using is going to actually line up with this book. And so when we talk about a um, electro an electrolyzer balance of plant, we first have the water going from the tap into, so this is tap water, into a water purification system and from there the water is going to go into a tank and this book that I just mentioned uh, calls this the O2 separation tank And from this vessel, we are pumping the water into the stack. So I'm going to draw a picture of the stack. So I'm going to say this is a PEM stack. This is the PEM stack. And the water is running via pump into uh, the PEM stack. And then the water and the oxygen on the other side of the stack will go back into the oxygen um, water separation tank. And from there, we have the O2, the oxygen just venting off into the atmosphere and actually we'll have the water uh, and the hydrogen go out from this side of the stack and it will go into another vessel and this vessel is going to be called the hydrogen water separation vessel so the hydrogen sep um, tank So from there, um, let's just say that this is the water level in here. The hydrogen will go into this vessel and the hydrogen will bubble up to the vessel and the water will stay on the bottom. Why do we have water in PEM electrolysis? Why don't we just have pure hydrogen? Well, it's just how PEM electrolysis works. In PEM electrolysis, you have water go over to the other side of the membrane and you'll have to later separate the water out from the hydrogen. And what will happen here is the, the water that you have is quite a lot of water and it's pretty pure water as well, it's relatively clean. So you are actually able to reuse that water. So instead of wasting this water, you or most electrolyzers, most electrolyzer manufacturers um, will talk about, will um, design a system where the water is able to be reused. So you can put the water back into the, um, into the 
uh, oxygen uh, water separation tank and you can reuse the water. So from here, the hydrogen that on the top will go into um, a dryer unit. So that in, mo in a lot of electrolyzers, according to that book, for example, um, there is going to be a deoxidizer. So the ox, I'm going to call it deox. Um, and then from there, you are going to have a vessel, another vessel, connect them up. And these are, these are going to be your dryers. So, um, yeah, so your dryers are going to re remove all of the moisture from the hydrogen to make it just extremely, extremely pure hydrogen. Now from there, your hydrogen is going to exit. And there's one part that we've missed out. And we're, looking at, we're going to look at that one part in just a second. So we have to give power for our electrolyzer stack. So this is going to be our positive. And then this is going to be our negative. And this has to be uh, DC power. It cannot be AC power because um, AC power won't work with electrolysis whatsoever. So I'm going to draw this box and I'm going to call this box the rectifier. And a rectifier is essentially an AC to DC converter. And um, upstream of that, there's normally, in most systems, there needs to be a transformer. And then, you know, you're basically feeding that from the, from the grid or whatever your electrical um, uh, whatever your your uh, electrical source is. Um, another thing I'd like to talk about is when you have power electrolysis, um, there's going to be quite a lot of waste heat. Well, where is that waste heat going to be? Um, uh, where is that waste heat going to go to? Well, we need to cool down the water. So this is the water that we use for electrolysis, and we we have the water coming out of the stack being really quite hot. And that's where we lose the lose that energy and then we could have either here or here we could put in a cooling unit which we would have to cool down the uh, the, the, the water and um, and just to keep the stack uh, temperature uh, reasonable and um, okay so if there's any questions um, let me know the description uh, this is just in very simple terms how a power electrolyzer works how the balance of plant works around that so again you've got the water going in and um, you've got the electrical power going in and then from there you'll have the water split into hydrogen and oxygen the oxygen will just leave normally to the atmosphere and then the hydrogen will uh, exit and will go, go to the client uh, over there Okay, so let's finish up with a couple of questions here. Question number one, name two different types of electrolysis systems. And I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about the answers. Okay, so we can talk about PEM, we can talk about alkaline, and if you looked at my previous slide, uh, you will also remember solid oxide, but any of those two will do. Let's look at the other question. Name an advantage of PEM electrolysis. And it could be any of the following answers. I'm going to give the answers in a second or two. All right, so high current density, high voltage efficiency, capable to hold pressure, turn down ratio, highly pure hydrogen. Next week's topic is going to be how a PEM electrolyzer stack works. Let me know in the description if you like this video and have a great day. Bye.